right, so in the last video, we got the fuel lines replaced. We pulled off the air compressor hoses and we have to put new ones on, so we'll call it halfway. So we also identified some new issues. Uh, leaky Raycor gauge. There's some oil leaks around the tack and the blower. Um, the Raycor line fitting that I mentioned in the last video. Um, the compressor oil line will need to be replaced. And there's some, the cruise control air leaks we showed in the last video. So we put the new O-rings in that one. Uh, so we have to go through these. I mentioned the block heater in the last video, so we take care of that. And we'll work on the rest of these as we go. Installing these compressor cooling hoses. here this will come up and tie on to the top one here those up all right that one's tight in there nice so then the long one comes off the back back there you can't see let me see if I can get some light back there the light's not going to stay so back in here still don't have much of a light back there but this thing's got to go through down there Is that headed toward that fitting, Mario? Can you see this hose? Is that aimed toward that fitting? Is that a good spot? Um, the tiny, which fitting All right, so we're down here in the bottom. We end up removing the, the starter to get to this other oil line that goes to the air compressor engine driven air compressor. So this is the fitting for the coolant for the air compressor. All these air compressor cooling lines and coolant lines. Also working on replacing the block heater which is directly above us I'll show you that in a minute hopefully you can hear me over the fan where's the wrench uh, the wrench well, I don't know if that's gonna be it may have to be the adjustable wrench yeah I don't know 
Big fan. Well, we have a 13 16, don't we? Yes. Can I have that? Snug these up so they don't leak, don't get crazy. They're brass fittings. All right, that's good. Now we'll show you the where the so we're in the same spot right there. That's the block heater hole right here. So we've got it off of there and we're cleaning the cleaning that mating surface so we can put the new block heater on there. So here's the old block heater. You can tell it's in pretty bad shape. The element itself may be all right, but this here is the cord got pretty badly melted from the exhaust. And it's just, yeah, it's just crumbling. So I'm going to reroute this so it goes down away from the exhaust. All right, so we got the other line up here from that line that we just hooked up at the bottom of the block above the starter. Take the cap off of there. Connect this guy up. That's snugged up, that compressor coolant lines are on there. Good to go, there's some brackets we'll put back on down there. Once we get the oil line in place. All right, so we're looking at the bottom of the compressor here. So we got a little bit of oil seepage on the bottom down here. I don't know, looks like it may be this bottom cover. If it's the bottom cover, the back cover. I was hoping it might be this. This is where the oil line connects. I was hoping it were it was that, but I think it actually looks like it's the bottom cover. Maybe if we just need to snug those, we're gonna try to snug all these bolts up and then see what happens. Maybe. I need a where's the wrench set? Yeah, they're not 
loose. And I bode well. Those are five eighths. I noticed a leak on this back cover and I just put these it's right in here there's an o-ring oh, of course you can't see right there there's an o-ring and those o-rings were missing so I just put two new o-rings in there I'm not going to take that back cover off because it's the sleeve bearing on the back of the compressor so I don't want to mess with that Clean the bottom of this with some brake clean. Nice, good, clean surface. Gas get on there with a little bit of. Get the bolts ready. Yep. I need the bolts up under here. Under. hand. Nine sixteenths ratchet and wrench too. So hopefully this takes care of the oil leaks on this compressor. Looks on there. 
all set now. Alright, we got the uh, the oil hose there. That guy right there. Run up to the compressor. The air compressor. The hardest part of that job is that little clamp right there. Oh, light. Lock him up. Ah. Jeez. Get that thing in there. The hardest part of that job is that little clamp right there, reclamping that back. See the shadow there? Those, that holds those cables in place. It's hard to get up in there because you can only get really one hand in there at a time almost. But that's all set. So we've got the starter back on it. Up under here. come back over here so the starters installed that oil lines up top so that's all that's all ready to go the new that's the new uh, block heater there so that's ready to go we ran that cable down and under the frame rail to get it away from that's the exhaust manifold up there they had it running up and over that so it got melted from that exhaust manifold so we ran it down so it'd be away from that exhaust manifold 